on the next episode of the Tour de Chargers EV Go. Good morning, I'm in Rockwall, Texas, and I'm gonna do a quick uh, charge session here at this EVGO charger. Uh, EVGO has a tendency to name their fast chargers. This one's name is Hudson. Uh, it is at a Walgreens, uh, here in the parking lot of a Walgreens in Rockwall, Texas. I tried to get an EVGO session recorded uh, closer to my home, at an EVGO charger named Everly, but I didn't get good sound, so this is gonna replace it. So let's see where we're at right now. I'm gonna check in on Car Scanner and show you that the battery level is at, or the state of charge is at 40.78%. Ambient air temperature, well, ambient air temperature just the bottom dropped out. It was 48 degrees a second ago, now it says it's minus 40. It did not drop that fast. We did not enter a new ice age. Uh, battery temp is at 59 degrees. It's the cars turned off. So once the car's up, that, that'll pick back up. But I just drove like 80 miles. To, uh, so the battery's plenty warm. It's at 59 degrees. So let's go ahead and get the charge session started. I'm going to go into the EVGO app. I'm going to select Hudson. Hopefully the windows, uh, hopefully that wind's not too bad. Um, and hit start charging on the app. It wants me to plug in and confirm the session. So I'm going to grab the handle number two, which is the CCS plug. Come over here to the bolts. Flip that down. And there we go. So we are plugged in. Charger now says that it is preparing Preparing to charge, setting up communication with the car. My app says the same thing, charger's preparing and all of that. Do, 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 do. And the waiting is the hardest part. Okay. Um, it's showing us at 40% state of charge. Uh, charge session has started. Do a quick check in on car scanner to see where we're at. We're, according to Car Scanner, the car is getting 42.3, somewhere a little over 42 kilowatts right now. Uh, the EVGO charger is saying that it's getting 45. Now on my app, it's not telling me that it's doing much of anything, but if I tap this little uh, carrot, it should tell me power level, but the app's not registering anything at the moment. Um, so we'll go back to car scanner and see we're still getting around 42 and a half. Uh, again, the battery's warm. It's just a little chilly outside. It's around 42 and a half kilowatts. Uh, I am going to watch this and try to have it go around the same 10 minutes as I usually do and see where we're at around there. I'll check in with you in a couple of minutes. One thing about some of the EVGO installations is they're not necessarily standalones they've usually got a good amount of they've got options and connectors and there's a way to do level two charging as well when we charged at the uh, one in Burleson we brought both cars we brought the Fiat and uh, I can at least show you what that one looked like but even here at this charger there is the level two stand which will uh, which will connect to any any EV with a J1772 plug or even a Tesla with uh, with an adapter. So if we had the Fiat here, this is the plug we'd use. And it just clicked in right in there. And you could connect onto the app and all of that. And it just gives you the little lights of whether the power is present or if it's ready to charge when, the, when it's connected. The fast charger is this cabinet here, which is made by, this particular one is made by ABB. I'm up to 46 kilowatts at the moment. 44% I've been charging for a little under four minutes. But this one unit can either use the CCS connector or the Chatamo. So a leaf could plug in here as well. This is a 50 kilowatt max charger. So this is almost all that this thing will get. 
and the bolt itself can only really handle 54, 55 kilowatts uh, charging speed. Um, and it should be getting that, it should be getting up close to what the charger can handle, but we're pushing limits on it and everything, and I'm not gonna balk over six kilowatts at speed right now. Standing next to the fast charger, I can kinda hear the cooling fans <laughs> inside it. They just kinda wound up. There's the six minute mark. We're at 47%, pulling 43 kilowatts. Doing a quick check in on car scanner. Uh, that confirms about 47 and a half. Battery temp is up to 62.6 degrees. If I switch over to the EVgo app, it's not really refreshing here. There we go. Now it's saying 47%. I'm up to an estimated cost of $2.10 so far if, if I was paying for this. Uh, when you purchase a Chevy Bolt brand new, you have the option of having a company called Q-Merit install a level two charger for you at your home, which I already had, so I passed on that, which meant that I was able to opt in for a $500 credit with EVgo. So I'm using those credits right now uh, to charge this. EVgo gives me a chart that's gonna show me um, my charge curve and how it's going, and it should be up there at the top at that plateau until the vehicle gets another couple of percent. It's supposed to start to throttle down a little after 50%, but I'm not getting max speeds, so it might not throttle down for these remaining three minutes. We've just hit 50%. Uh, confirmed on car scanner as well. Charger says we're getting 40 kilowatts, uh, which is eh, right around 39. We're closing in on the nine minute mark to get that 10% of charge. The plan here is to stop at 10 minutes uh, and we're closing in on that right now. Ten, uh, there we go, 10, just cleared seven kilowatt hours. Um, I don't know why this is doing this. It should be 7.036 kilowatt hours. I have not gotten 7,000 kilowatt hours, but that is very clearly a comma right there. Um, so there's our 10 minute mark. We got to 51.37 uh, on the state of charge. Battery temp got up to 64. So I've pushed stop on the screen and it just gives me this. Let me show you. It says use your phone to authenticate at the charger. And on my app, I don't have a button that's allowing me to stop the charge. Let's try this. Let's do something stupid and yeah, it's locked. Oh, no. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that's what I had to do. <laughs> so. I kept pushing stop on the charge screen and it kept asking me to authenticate on my phone. But no matter where I looked, I was not seeing uh, a, a place to stop the charge on my phone. I couldn't find the button. It's probably real obvious and I'm probably really stupid. So I got an extra uh, few minutes of charging there. Got to 55% on the battery. Uh, the charge session, let's see, I can, go from 907 to 921 so I was on there for about 14 15 minutes uh, and I can graph the the charge curve which is one of the things that it lets you do if I look at the detailed receipt EVgo says the charge session was 15 minutes I delivered 10.56 kilowatt hours it would have been four dollars and fifty cents at a cost of 30 cents per minute I'll do some math and figure out how much that ended up being per kilowatt hour and put it right here on the screen. The car in car scanner, one last check there. Find the app. One last check on car scanner. I got to a 56.47% state of charge. Ambient uh, battery temperature got to 69.8. It's still 48.2 degrees for ambient air temperature. Uh, this charge, uh, would have cost me uh, $4.50 plus tax. I had $4.87 of my credit applied, so uh, this charge didn't cost me anything because I'm using my credits with EVgo. Uh, the EVgo stations are a little more plentiful 
than Electrify America stations because they, there's just one tower that can uh, be in a place like uh, here at this Walgreens. There was one in Tennessee that was in front of a big convenience store, the one near our house, and several of them here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex are in the parking lot of Cracker Barrel restaurants. So um, you go to a Cracker Barrel, if that's your thing, if you and you can plug in, have dinner, come on out, you're right there, it's not a big problem. So that's charging experience at EVGO. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more content.